Okay, everyone. Hi. Um, how you all been? Uh, I'm redoing this. I did it yesterday, and I don't know what happened. There's no volume on the video. So, um, I'm trying this again today. Um, now, there's been a couple things that's been uh, keeping me busy here recently. Um, namely, uh, well, two black kittens, um, they're laying down now, so I won't disturb them, but, uh, here, let me show you some, uh, video from yesterday that I got of them. Uh, they're not too old, um, and I started off feeding them with, um, an eyedropper. But um, that uh, didn't take long before they were they were like eaten out of uh, milk out of the dish. I'm using uh, the baby formula, kitten formula stuff. They're eating that out of the dish, and um, so far it's uh, going pretty good. They're starting to eat solid food now, um, so they they seem to be fairly. Uh, hungry um now what it was was a feral cat had left them outside alone abandoned them probably because one had both eyes matted shut completely and another had one eye matted shut and i've had to be uh treating them and stuff uh pretty regularly because she's got like a real bad um problem with her eyes um they just keep on wanting to get all uh goopy and stuff and mat shut every time she closes her eyes so i have some medication i put in them and stuff and that helps a little bit but anyway not enough about the, the kitties. They've been a real handful, though, let me tell you. The one does not like to leave my side. I'm surprised she is now. Um, let me see. Uh, another wild thing. A couple of wild things happened here recently. Um, one night, I was sitting here, and... Uh, I don't know if you can see, I wear uh, a couple things on me around my neck. And I had this other one that's a rune thing, and it was on my neck also. But all of a sudden, I just freaked out. I had like a panic attack, and it was like, it felt like it was choking me. It wasn't, but I had to get it off of me fast. And. So I did. And then the other two didn't seem to be bothering me as bad. So I was able to get over the attack. But it's just wildest things. I, I don't have panic attacks often. but And I've never had one like that before. But uh, yeah, that, that was uh, something. And then another light night, late at night, this thing went off and uh, let me catch what it said that's what it said to me the other night on its own I wasn't touching it or anything and just out of the blue it says come play with me it's setting up on a shelf, so I'm not messing with it. But uh, I'm going to put that back. And see, I was able to set that back on the shelf. It didn't go off or anything. That shows you how sturdy it is, you know. It's not very sensitive at all. And for it just to suddenly go off like that, that was pretty wild. 
So, uh, my uh, spooky haunted doll might really be a spooky haunted doll. And I might have actually gotten what I was hoping to, to get when I paid for it. But, uh, let me see, what else? Oh, we've been out filming again. Uh, we've hit up like three different locations for films and they they will be coming out soon um had some problems getting some stuff um so we might have to run back and uh oh there's another one about work that's slowly going on around here but i'll show you that too hopefully Hopefully, with, without uh, being too long in the future. Uh, let me see. Well, that's pretty much been it. I did the drawing yesterday, too. And we have a winner for the full reading. And um, luckily, I wasn't able to get it on here sharing sharing it on to the streamyards thing but at the same time as it was supposedly i was hoping it was sharing it which it didn't i was taping it myself on my camera so i do have the actual footage of it on camera taping and i will play it oh what the heck i'll play it right now as soon as I get my uh, camera to working. Okay, I'm taping this. In case you're not getting the share screen. I got everybody's names in there for the three draw free drawing. Just got to click the button. And uh, let's see who comes up. Good luck, everyone. Okay, T-Coop. T Coop is the winner. Yay! Congratulations, T Coop. Okay. So, once again, congratulations to T Coop. She's never had a full reading before. Which is cool. So, without further ado, let me uh, set up my uh, reading table here. Okay, now maybe that'll burn for a while. Uh, calling forth the good spirits to help me with my readings. And one more thing I almost forgot. Ooh. The ringing of the bell, the bowl. That ended a little bit abruptly, but uh, y'all got the, the hint. Hey, Maureen. Let's see what the rings have to say for you. This one dropped out on its own. I'm going to take that one. That's the first one.
man. This is just, this is not a good day for this. I'm sorry. My arm's just shaking too bad for some reason today. And it's my good arm, too. I don't know what's wrong. So, uh, I'm going to put these away right now and try to come back to them. Maybe in a little bit. But, Maureen, if you're curious, so far, we have, this is a rune of wisdom, um, learning, uh, inspiration, advice, and maybe tests. Maybe you might be tested, or uh, you're going to look for some to someone for advice, or perhaps someone's going to look for you, to you for your your wisdom and advice. Some sort of exchange going on. Okay. Harmony, blessings, joy, affection, and desire are coming your way. Very good. Uh, but, 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 as with everything, there's limits. Um, there could be delays, risks. Um, possible upheavals in plans. And that's where it's leaving off, and I cannot read any more right now. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to pause this video and come back and uh, pick up where I left off. And hopefully I can keep my arm still enough to be able to do this correctly. All right. Hopefully, I'll be back in a bit. Ty, I am back. Um, I was working on Maureen's um, reading, rune reading. And I was having a hard time because my, uh, my arm was wanting to quiver. And it's my good arm, and I don't understand what that was all about. So, uh, it's, I woke up, it's 3 a.m., and I'm going to give this a, another shot. Um, so, uh, let's see how it goes. I already have three runes out that landed upright. I saved this board pretty much as is. Um, I tried to without bumping anything. So let me try this reading again. Okay. Here we go. For Maureen. Okay, hmm, turns out we did have a number of these, so let me try pulling them up and seeing what it has to say. That one wasn't one, this one was, and uh, those three weren't so much. Um, now, okay, I already read off the first part of this, but I'll give a little refresher here. Okay, the first one is, um, let's see, it stands for wisdom, 
apprentice uh, tests. You may be tested on uh, something. Uh, your patients may be tested. Uh, something along those lines. Um, let's see. Inspiration is going on. Maybe advice giving um, to either to you or from you. I'm not sure which. Okay, and the next one over here is um, win, and it uh, means harmony, blessings, um, affection, joy, um, good things like that. Um, Now, this one over here is Hoggle, and it it, uh, it kind of straightens out all this good news a little bit by uh, putting a little bit of dose of reality in here, to letting you know that there will be limits to all this, all this happiness and everything going on. There will be limits, um, possible upheavals, uh, risks going on delays of some sort so things will be having a bit of an issue here and i see here there's another one that's uh, kind of related to that but i'll get to that in a little bit as it comes up okay this is warning you okay avoid being selfish um uninvolved uh egotistical not that you are, but avoid it. You want to avoid that kind of behavior. And um, let me see. Avoid being alone. You want to be social. Stay social. Not a good time to be alone. Okay? You want to be social um, because uh, there's a chance that you could become a victim of something. So you want to stay around people, stay with the crowd. Um, if you follow this, I see victory, uh, seagull. Um, you're going to have a uh, good time for uh, uh, clear vision. Follow your instincts. Okay, your instincts know what's going on. Um, achievement a good time to take a rest okay take a break get some rest still want to be around people but uh you need some rest and uh th this is a really good room really good room and the last one okay it's talking about uh things not going anywhere and over here, I said uh, limits, uh, delays, and stuff. This one finishes it off and says, basically, things are going to be going at such a slow pace that you can hardly tell that things are even progressing at all. Just going to be a momentary thing, a temporary thing, you know, but it's going to be going on. It's going to seem like time's just slowed down and it's taking forever um there's gonna be a, like a cooling off period um now here is where you're going to be separated from someone uh or possibly the public it's finally going on um there's nothing you can do about it this time um and it looks like Now's the time it's going to turn around and you're going to actually need some privacy. Okay. Um, possible ill feelings going on here. Um, but overall, uh, this is, uh, that's basically what it, it all says. So you want to avoid being alone at the start of this, you know. It's not a good idea to be on your own. But as it progresses, 
when things slow down for you, that's kind of a, an indication that, uh, okay, things are slowing down. Now is a good time for a rest and a little bit of privacy. I hope that makes sense to you. But when things in your life start to really slow to a crawl, that's when it's going to be time for you to take some time to yourself. But not until that point. Okay, Maureen. Hope that made sense to you. <coughs> oh, my mouth is dry. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm, who's up next? It's T Coop. Okay, T Coop. And I'd like to once again congratulate T Coop on winning the drawings. This is just the first of a number of them to come during this this video. Okay. All right, this one's upwards. Up. Okay. Goop. We've got these for you. Okay. I see a, a victory of some sort coming up for you, a win, um, success, a uh, good time uh, to follow your instincts. Okay, you're going to have good, uh, good for for vision about the, excuse me, about things to come, honor, achievement. Um, once again, uh, for this one, it's a good time for you to take a rest. Okay, catch your breath, and because uh, things are going to start progressing along. Um, for a little while, and I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, okay. What coming, what's coming your way is, uh, wealth, fulfillment, power, material gain. But on the flip side of that, it warns against greed. Okay. What you get is what you get. Don't be greedy. Not that you are, not that anyone is. I'm, I'm just saying what they're saying. Avoid greed. Now, um, this one here. Okay, uh, I see a rebirth. Um, perseverance. Uh, a quest of sorts maybe is coming up um possible conflict with someone else but you're gonna have success okay 
you're going to have success. Now, here, just like for Marines, you're going to have a period of uh, a slowdown period, cooling down. Things are going to go at a slow pace, a crawl even. Um, there could be some uh, ill feelings about something. Uh, you're going to be... Uh, Feel a kind of a energy loss, a separation from people. Um, it's going to be hard to maintain your focus, and you'll need your privacy for this period. Okay, you want to focus on yourself. Now's an excellent time to focus on yourself. Um, Deep thought. It's a good time for doing some deep thought, meditation. Um, and it also recommends giving of yourself. You know, and it could be more than just financial. It could be giving of your time and your, your efforts. It, it, it could be more than just you know, handing out $5 to a homeless person. This is where you're actually getting involved and helping them further than just, you know, shelling out money, if you know what I mean. Um, and what else does this say? Uh, um, giving. Um, oh. Creativity, that's another one that this stands for, creativity. Um, so if you have any creative abilities, now's the time you're going to really shine. Coming up after this slow period, expect after you take, take your rest, you know, let things slow down for you, then... Once, uh, maybe it's after this rest, this break, this time off, you're just going to come back with a vengeance. If, if you have any artistic abilities, it's going to come back with a vengeance and you're going to just pick up where you left off and things are going to look pretty good for that. Okay. And there you go, T. Coop. I hope that made sense for you. <clears throat> Next up, we have Sheila. Sheila Bleaks. Okay. Let's see what the runes have for Sheila. Wow, this comes up for a lot of people today for some reason. Okay. Torn. That's a ring for a thorn. And, you know, as with a thorn, you kind of get, uh, it's a pricky situation there. That can go either way. It can be act as protective and as a bit of a threat. But I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, let's see what else we might have here.
Okay. Sheila, out of all these, I'm only getting this one. So, your reading's going to be a little short. Hopefully, it'll tell you what you need to know. Okay. Uh, as what I've been telling everybody, okay, with this one, Mon, that's the name of it, um, you know, you want to concentrate on yourself, okay, uh, good time for deep thought, um, meditation, and also, also, good time, excuse me, it's a good time to give of yourself, generously, give of your time, not just money, give of your time and efforts and stuff, and Give how you can, however suits you best. If you don't have money, give give your time, your work, your energies. Um, oh, and one more thing, too, and that's the creativity part for you. If you have any creativity, ability, creative abilities, excuse me, if you have creative abilities, they're going to, really be strong now so uh take advantage of them while you can okay now i'm on to the thorn torn which uh it uh it it, it it's, it's uh protection it's uh counsel it's a good time not to do anything because being a thorn you know, if you're not careful, you're going to get pricked there. Okay. Now, this is a two-sided thing. It could be luck is coming your way. But also, it warns you that, uh, well, it tells you there is a warning, too, with that luck. So, it's a very edgy thing going on here. And in the long run, I see uh, uh, financial gain, wealth, uh, fulfillment, um, possibly power, uh, material gain. But it's telling you avoid greed. Don't let it go to your head too far and, uh, you know, fall into the what realm of greed. If it's just given to you, you know, accept it graciously, but don't expect it and don't demand it. All right. There you go, Sheila. I hope that helps in some way. <coughs> okay, next one is rain. Rain, rain. And after rains, I'll take a bit of a break here. Briefly. Rain. Oh, boy, yours is coming out sideways.
Okay, Rain. Now, you've had three of these come up. They were very minor. Um, boy. And I don't get normally this many, you know, sideways. And sideways is normally not the best position for them. So I'll, I'll warn you there. Okay. Uh, it starts off with a period of weak will. Um, low energy. Illness, maybe. Possible missed opportunities. Um, there's some disruptive forces going on. Um, possibly you're getting a negative payoff from something. I'm sorry, Rain. I know <laughs> these are all sideways, and uh, that's normally kind of the, the negative version of, uh, of everything. Um, a very emotional period for you. Something uh, is something's going on that may be affecting you very personally and deeply and troubling you, you know, in that way, very personal and deeply. And it, it's hitting at your emotional nerve somehow. Okay. That one don't, don't come up very much. Um, it's... it's uh, this is a one of endings and beginnings, but this isn't just your average ending or beginning. This is special. This is really uh, something, you know, for your personal history book, say. You know, this is something memorial that you're not going to forget anytime soon. There's something ending of great not notability, and there's something beginning that is equally important. And uh, the very last one, it's telling you, and it's upright, so it's more of a positive one, I guess. It's telling you, whatever's going on, have patience. Patience is a big thing. Watch for omens. Um, it's going to be a stressful period. Try to not let the stress get to you. Try to you know, maintain your your peace, your inner peace. Um, there might be obstacles in your way. And um, also it appears like there's some sort of maybe great necessity for you coming up here. Um, something you're going to need that you, you haven't been getting here don't say what but there's just going to be a special need for you um so i hope this made sense for you rain in some way all right Okay, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to take a break here. Okie doke. Get my stuff together. And when I come back, I'll do the Wiccan runes.
Get that incense lit and going. I should have had it going for my rune readings. But it's, well, it's after 3 now. It's almost, uh, almost 4 a.m. Back in my microphone. Now, you all that asked for them, there was about three people. Uh, it was Susan Parker, Thomas Sabo, and uh, Phoenix Fire. All three of them wanted. The Wiccan Rune. So let's start with Susan. I went flew out of the circle, but I don't think that matters. Boy, a lot of these. Stacked. Since those are stacked up, I'll take those. And lastly, there we go. Okay, now let's start off. We have, uh, Susan, you have blessings coming your way. Um, it's telling you time to invest in yourself. It looks like you've been investing in other people, um, possibly uh, a spouse, a partner, uh, children. You invested your time and effort into other people. Now it's time to invest in yourself. Um, it's, you know, it says to provide for yourself. Good time to give yourself an education. Just, uh, you've been taking care of others. Now it's time to take care of you. Okay. Um, 
this is a lifting of the veil um seeing truth your eyes are going to be opened up you're going to it's a good time to follow your instincts okay uh you're going to be able to focus on things a lot better and um it seems to be suggesting that you want to focus especially on yourself okay um your psychic abilities are heightened and uh also it, it's a good time uh you might uh be called upon as a witness for something that happens not sure what but uh okay something else that's coming up is it's uh a new phase is coming up something has come to an end and now uh a new phase is coming into play and um you will be making good choices uh it looks like your health health is going to be good and uh vitality um there's going to be a period of healing going on uh good news uh justice um very positive rune there okay now for this one this is talking about uh, the bond between you and others um and not just the bond itself but the circumstances around it um okay you have a friend that you met through something or through another friend and you know think of the cycles and what how we're all pulled together in some way our lives are intertwined you want to, you know, kind of think about that. Um, another thing this could mean is you, you pulling things together um, to make something new. A good time to recycle, I would say, in other words. Use old things and make them new again. Something useful and worth the while. There's movement going on. Um, you're going to have a real deep um, connection to the spiritual world. So th this is good. Your your instincts and premonitions are, are going to be high and reliable. And you're going to have a close connection with the spiritual world um but at the same time it's out of your control okay and because of that it's telling you to avoid insecurities okay it's telling you to uh to kind of uh don't let yourself be overwhelmed okay and um don't fight things you know just it, it, your life is flowing like a river don't paddle upstream just go with the flow and you'll be you'll be fine the more you fight it the worse it's just going to be for you so just go with the flow okay this is the a strong rune of the female the, the abilities and characteristics talks about being a healer um the home is uh where your energies are strongest um your it looks like there's some sort of creativity going on you're a nurturer, a carer. Um, 
the, this that's what this rune is all about the the strong abilities that uh, most women have and that's that's not limiting it down to any certain thing you know women can do a lot and there's there's probably nothing that they can't do <clears throat> well just about um next up the rune of love and relationships deep emotional connections with somebody you might find a soulmate out there you know i see harmony coming if you find this person it's going to be a, a very good time for you a very peaceful you know time um harmony all's all's gonna be well now this is the male um characteristics coming into play and maybe it it's reminding you that you need a balance of these two in life to make things work um this this one talks about action uh fatherhood protecting loved ones uh being a provider being empowered and um now don't don't shoot me because i know a woman is more than just this and a man is more than just this and the roles can be intertwined and everything they're just going on the general nature of people and their position in life in life traditional positions okay um so don't don't shoot the the messenger <laughs> but it's talking about this this other person and it's right in there with the soulmate thing so uh maybe you're gonna find a guy who's uh your soulmate and that doesn't have to be a love interest you can be soulmates with uh someone else um that you're not in love with there there's uh many ways you know you can find that person and stuff and you know albert met his you know with a girl that he had met and uh there wasn't anything romantic at all involved they just they just clicked it off and it was like they understood each other and everything and like it didn't take them long to realize you know that uh they had this connection going on of some sort well unfortunately the girl died shortly after and it was kind of personally hard on albert after that imagine just you know, suddenly finding your soulmate and losing them within weeks that had to be rough <clears throat> so that is what these runes are saying to you i don't know your situation in life i don't know what's going on so only you can really know if these apply or how these apply to you um watch for things to come all right susan okay i hope they make sense i hope you understand what they're saying and they help you out next up is thomas
and bag. Take them up in the bag. Yeah, there's difference in reading these runes from the traditional ones. These these are the Wiccan runes. There's less of them, and I don't pull a handful out. I just dump the bag. And excuse me. Okay, <clears throat> Thomas, for you. Yours starts out with movement. Um, a, a deep connection to the spiritual world. And a reminder that things are out of your control in this world. The spiritual world. Um, don't let it... Uh, don't let it make you insecure. You know... You, you can overcome that. Um, and don't fight things. Just accept them and go with the flow. Let it, let it happen. Because um, you fight it, it's just going to wear you down and not accomplish a thing. Okay, it's going to be like, uh, well, like I, I gave for Susan a little while ago. It's going to be like, Trying to swim upriver, you know, in the long run, you're not going to get anywhere other than wear yourself out. So let the river take you where it's going to go. Okay. You're going to have the ability to have like foresight. Um, it's going to be strong in you coming up now. I, I think you have the ability, but it's going to be strong in this time period coming up um you're gonna be able to see through the bs and see the truth in things um good time to focus on something in particular um and part of it's the focus is this uh ability to uh, see things clearly um, and the movement and this connection to the spiritual world and how you, you should go with it, go with the flow. And you're going to be able to, um, you, you need to focus on that. Okay, make that the focus of this room. Um, psychic abilities, you're going to have and um, you're going to see, you're going to see more than the average person. You're going to see a sudden change in things. Endings coming up. But with endings, there's always beginnings. So don't forget that. Um, you're going to be making uh, final decisions on... Uh, issues, um, completing tasks, uh, possibly walking away from a situation or somebody that doesn't suit your needs, that doesn't harmonize with you, you know, that, that doesn't work for you, okay, and it warns too. Could be a period of danger. So be careful. Keep your eyes open and watch. Okay, and this, this warns also that you might be witnessing something. So keep your eye out because you might be uh, able to spot this danger coming your way. And 
like this was the ending. Here's talking about the beginning. Um, talks about making good choices. Um, it looks like your health and vitality are going to be good. Good time for healing. Um, possibly healing others in the process. Good news is coming your way and also justice. Good time for justice in your favor. Now you're getting the traditional male um, rune. And it's telling you uh, to, uh, to be the one to take action. Uh, time to be a, a father figure to people. Um, your job is to protect loved ones. Um, provide a home for somebody. And overall, just being empowered. Okay? Um, now, that's another one. Movement. I see movement going on. So your future is definitely going places. Things are ending and beginning and movement and... It, it's happening your your future is going to be really uh really busy um good time for communication and information coming your way um possible travel it looks like a good time for travel and um hmm. travel of all kinds at that and now we go after this one. And oh, this one is the crossroads. Okay, boy, you're getting a lot of this stuff. So you you should probably really try to follow along with this and everything i see a major life decision is coming up something unknown um it warns you uh you could be stuck in something <coughs> and it tells you don't be afraid of moving forward okay change is happening the old is ending. The new's beginning. Don't fear it. You know, like this river, you know, thing I, I, I compare it to. Just go with the flow. All right, Thomas. I hope that made some sense for you. And we have one more for these. And that's going to be Phoenix. I'm sorry, folks. When I wake up in the morning, I normally have a lot of mucus and con congestion. So let's see what Phoenix gets. He's out of the way. Lots and lots of stuff's going on. I see a lot of similar readings to other ones. Very similar. In fact, I, I think they've all been up already okay um this is talking about the circumstances that that brings people together the the emotional ties and connections and how we meet and how we know each other 
Um, it, it's telling you to think about that. Um, it's it's a deep concept, really, and it's. I kind of like to think of it as like a, a pebble in a pond. You know, the ripples will go out further and further and further, and if there's anything in that water, it's going to affect whatever's in the water, and it's going to cause it to bob, and it's going to change things around that one little pebble ripple. It's going to keep going out and affecting things further and further away. So the connection between people is very similar to that. Someone drops a pebble and it, it interacts with where someone else has dropped a pebble. And before you know it, uh, the connections formed and there you have it. Um, and also it's talking about combining different elements together to form something new. So be creative right now. Um, uh, like I had mentioned earlier, time to good good time to be creative and recycle. You know, especially something old, make it into something new. Um, now you've got uh, both. I see the male and female symbols in here again. Um, maybe it's saying that you 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 need in your life to be a little bit of both. You need to be like a healer, um, a home provider, creative, nurturing, caring. But at the same time, you need to take on the, some of the traditional male characteristics, um, which is like... Um, Playing a fatherly role, uh, protecting loved ones, um, being a provider, um, being empowered, being the one to take the action. It, a situation perhaps will come up where you will be needing to be a little bit of both characters for some reason. I see the beginning of something new. You'll be making good choices. A uh, time of good health and vitality. Uh, good time for healing. Good news and justice is coming your way. Great room going on there. Um, major life decisions coming up. Um, there's something unknown. In here it doesn't say what um, you might be feeling stuck or trapped in a situation and perhaps you're afraid of moving forward um, well I wouldn't be afraid because as this next rune reminds you movement this is the rune of movement this is one of them um, so if you're afraid of moving, uh, advancing ahead, um, whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. There's no controlling it. This is going to happen. So instead of fighting it, just accept and go ahead with whatever is needed to be accepted. Okay, you're going to have a good connection with the spiritual world. Um, but things are going to be beyond your control in this situation. Um, you might feel some insecurities. Um, being in flow with your life. Don't fight it. Don't fight it at all. Just go with the flow. And it warns you about being overwhelmed. And I think that's the whole thing. Don't fight the future. It's coming. I think it's already predestined. 
and I don't think there's anything you can do to change it. This is a rune of love in relationships and deep emotional um, connections, harmony, and perhaps a soulmate coming up. Um, your vision's going to be, a veil's going to be removed from your eyes, okay? Um, you're going to be able to recognize truth. You're going to be able to see it clearly, truth. Um, good time for focusing on something. Um, and maybe it might be this other person is that you need to focus on, this, this soulmate person, perhaps, or somebody with a deep emotional connection. It's playing a, an important role here for you. So maybe you really want to try to focus on this person a bit, finding them. And you'll be able to find them too because, uh, like I said, this veil is going to be lifted and uh, um, good time for psychic abilities and uh, observing and witnessing what's going on around you. Excellent time. Okay, Phoenix. So I hope this made some sense to you. Ah, I just looked. You can see a little bit. My nails are all dirty. I've been transplanting and stuff and moving plants outside. The ones that I can. Some of them, they're so big and heavy, Albert has to do it. But uh, Been up to a lot recently. A whole lot. Okay, and there's... Um, oh, jeez. I almost forgot T-Coop. Well, something is telling me to take a break right now. So I'll do T-Coop when I come back. Okay, tea coop. Okay. Well, tea coop. You have a lot of them down, but you do have some different ones in here, which I, uh, which I appreciate seeing. I always like something new. That one's nothing, but you got the moon. So, it starts off with the sun. Uh, no, I'm sorry, with the star. Star, sun, and moon. Hmm. Now, the star says, go after what you want, T. Coop. Go after what you want. Your life purpose is uh, to look at the runes closest to the star for clues. Okay? You're going to be an inspiration for others. Uh, just be yourself. And... Allow yourself to be accepted for who you are. Freedom. 
freedom from these games of pretending to be someone you're not. Be yourself. And if someone don't like it, that's their problem. That's not yours. You be yourself. You'll be happier and that's something no one can take from you. Okay. Now this star um, is, I guess, your life purpose is making major life decisions. There's some aspect of some unknown here and uh, also a feeling that you might be stuck in a situation and afraid to move forward. Okay, this is telling you, overcome that fear. Your purpose in life is to overcome that fear of moving ahead, of being stuck, of making major de changes, decisions about changes. Okay, you want to free yourself from that and just allow yourself to do these things without any hesitation or questions or anything. You'll know what to do. You'll know what's right. And instead of worrying about what others might think or say, you do what's right. Now here's the beginning of something new. Now you're starting to make good choices. It looks like you are able to overcome this. You're making good choices. Um, good health and vitality, good time for healing. Uh, there's just good news coming your way, and justice is going to be on your side should there be an issue involving that. Um, good time for love, relationship, deep emotional connections with another person. Perhaps you'll meet your soulmate. And I just see a general harmony going on here, coming up in your life. Um, once again, you got the movement. Um, this involves communication and information and travel of all kinds. So you're, you're going to get messages. You're going to give messages and try to focus on the positive and the upbeat and Tell people what they should hear and not what they want to hear. And once again, this is saying long-term changes are coming. Transition and changes. Hidden agendas are going to be revealed. Secrets. Um, a good time for using your imagination and your feminine energies are going to be very strong. Okay, so it's a good time to focus on yourself. Yourself as a woman. Um, do a lot of introspect into your life. Be yourself. There's a lot going on. A lot to be said in this. And... Uh, So hopefully this makes sense to you. And uh, sorry, just looking back at the kittens, seeing what they were into. Always into something. But yeah, uh, hopefully they make some sense and uh, help help you out. All right, T. Coop. Now, all done with the Wiccans. <clears throat> okay, I got a few more going on here. Um, let me see.
we have Well, I have a mess over here. But, uh, we have someone that wants a reading from the I Ching. And I'll give uh, Tikoop a reading of these, too. Oh, I forgot to put all my runes away. And then I'll do the dice. For T Coop also. And uh, I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything for T Coop. The dice involve a lot of reading, so I'm not jumping into that immediately. the Yi Ching manual. And let me shuffle up the Yi Ching cards. And remember, with the Yi Ching comes the scratching and everything else. Sorry, that's bad humor. some attention okay uh, 39 Ching I think that's how you pronounce it it means obstruction um, water on the mountain pause to assess the risks there are two obstructions that hinder progress Water above and mountain below. The downward flow water may conceal the dangerous abyss, whereas the still mountain may be more easily traversed. It furthers one's it furthers one to confront each obstacle according to one's capacities and to not overreach. Okay, it's telling you go ahead with caution. Remember, there's dangers hidden. And um, just do what you can. Don't try to do more than what you can do. Sorry, I'm going to have to take a break in a few minutes to uh, see to my kitties. <laughs> Chen, which means the creative. Heaven upon heaven, time and eternity are one. Heaven is the sky, always both above and below, as day and night surrounds around the planet. Heaven is also the presence of the divine, which is above, below, all around and within. Both time and eternity influence humanity through the creative powers of heaven. Sublime success is assured 
through creative perseverance. Okay, it reminds you that uh, there are divine forces all around us. No matter what you believe in, they're all around us. And uh, basically what it's saying, I guess, is that creativity is how you basically communicate with the divine. That's your method. Some people pray. You create. You make things. And that's your way of communicating. I hope that makes sense to you. But what you make and do reflects and says it all. And the last one, Meng, it means youthful folly. Water below mountain, the inexperienced per person seeks a teacher. A spring emerges at the foot of the mountain. The landscape will ultimately determine how the water will flow. At present, it is directless, directionless. It rushes over the ground seeking places where it can gather and deepen. Thus, the inexperienced person seeks an experienced teacher. The teacher does not seek the student who must approach with humility. And that's all that has to say about that. So I guess it's saying, you know, to uh, seek out a mentor, somebody that uh, can uh, guide you, someone that, you know, is more experienced and can guide you to the right path and everything. Um, but uh, whoever this person may be, approach them humbly don't uh, try to make yourself out to be more than you are or anything don't be uh, bragging on yourself use humility when you approach this person all right oh, i'm sorry i didn't even say who that was for um, oh, that was for Lady Nighthawk. I'm sorry, Lady Nighthawk, that was for you. Now I'm going to get to T-Coop. Sorry, Lady Nighthawk, I, uh... Ah! Okay. So, where are we at?
Let me get you some more. Hooper, that's yours. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. There's your milk. There's your milk. Yeah, get your milk. Get your milk. Where's the other one? Okay. Hooper. Oh, hey, you, <laughs> you better get it, kitty gonna get it, here, have some milk, 
very bad kitty don't get it. Before you get in that, I'm going to break your finger. Okay, sorry about that, folks. It kicked me out there for a second. It's all down. Okay. There you go. Okay. I had to feed my kitties a little bit there. And then I got knocked off, I thought. And everything uh, was still on, come to find out. Okay, next we have Tea Coop. Okay, push these aside and, well, okay, we have 60, 17, and 38 for Tiku.
which is saying to T Coop, um, it is saying, um, okay, first of all, it's G, 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 limitation above water below lake rain over the lake respective respecting limits the lake is defined by its limitations it is contained and finite finite in its dimensions water above the lake is limitless as rain may continue to fall long after the lake's boundaries have flooded over Kindness depends on respecting the limitations of others and not assuming that they can handle whatever one pours forth. Civilization depends on respect and limits of property and social mores. Proceed with care. Okay. 17. Okay, sui, and it means following, and I'm probably butchering the language, um, but uh, here we go. Thunder in the middle of the lake, action suspended. People who are coerced into cooperation will ultimately resist. To obtain enthusiastic followers, one must adapt to the prevailing need of the time. Act thoughtfully in proper context. Success is likely if one's actions are worthy, but a following should not be expected until those conditions are met. Okay. And the last one is 38. Quay, opposition, fire above the lake, there is no meeting. Fire rises toward heaven while the lake flows downward into deep, depth, depth, deepness, depth, okay, deepness. There is no common sphere in which they can meet. When people have fundamentally difference, fundamental differences, they cannot be compromised. Option, opposition is inevitable. Small things may be accomplished with care, but expect no success in any great endeavor as long as the players remain the same. Okay. So there we go, t -coop. Hopefully they made some sense to you. Okay, next we have the dice. Let's see what uh, comes up when I roll them. Okay, we have lesser. Hmm. Gotta look these symbols up. Sorry. I'm still trying to get them down packed. Is that Sagittarius over lesser, uh, lesser? Huh. North node 
which stands for Sagittarius as well. But in this case, Sagittarius is a fire sign, while this Sagittarius is an air sign. So we have fire over lesser air. Let me see what that comes up with. Uh, fire over lesser air. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Lesser fire over air. There we go. Lesser fire over air. And this is compared to a snuffed out candle. Hasty passions are rejected by clear thought. It is not yet time to put plans into actions. A candle just blown out by a strong wind will smoke still, with smoke still curling up from its wick. You can blow out the candle, but it's still going to smoke. Okay, the obvious reading for this combination is that the fire fails to replace air, instead has its energy rejected by the less emotional, calmer air. This can be positive. Fire's potentially explosive emotion is now guided by rational thinking and direction with greater precision. Fire and air can erupt, but in this case, the danger is defeated by rational plans or unclouded thought. Aggression is rejected. Any exuberant action will be controlled by the more powerful mental restraint that air brings. If the fire was a passionate call to action, then it will fail and people will not be swayed by it. The flames here have no fuel and they blow themselves out in the breeze. Similarly, a plea to a lover to abandon common sense and run away on an adventure will also fail. Look at Ayer's example and think rationally instead of being driven by urgent needs. This can represent the failure of an attempt to change mental plans into physical action. You have an idea, you wanted to excitedly run with it, but the time isn't right. This doesn't have to be a negative outcome. The idea could be more work at the planning stage before you'll be ready. Or the uncooperative impatience of fire might have an unwelcome addition to your calm plans that you never wanted in the first place. Either way, this combination's message is that rushing into things before they're ready will not help you achieve them. You need to be open and smart and use your mind to check the possibilities before opening them up to the world of fast action. Sometimes this reading can also mean an abrupt ending where the forces of air cannot appeal to emotional, emotionally will cause a snuffing out of a bright situation. If the fire is due to go out, then use this in the most positive way that you can. Take the opportunity to use it to clear, see it clearly with the intellect of air and order your, order your thoughts to make the best outcome. While a lot of these situations sound negative, this reading is frequently positive. The angry crowd will see common sense. The loud lies of an agitator will be seen as fake and ignored. Air re resisting the angrier parts of the fire is an extremely good outcome in many cases. If you desperately want it to fire, then be aware of what it is and what it takes time to build one that will last. Earthly fuel, dry conditions, planning. Don't run in before it's ready and any setback, uh, use any setback to build a better one. All right, T. Coop, I hope that made some sense for you. Hmm. 
Now what did I just do with that box? Oh. Let me see. You didn't give me a dream. So I don't have a dream reading for you, T. Coop. Um, let me see. I feel like I'm missing something here. Hmm. I've given you uh, Wiccan Oracle or Wiccan runes, regular runes, I Ching or I Ching. Um, the dice. Now is a tarot? Is that it? Hmm. Must be. Well, now I'm going to have to head over to the table. Uh, as soon as I get it cleaned off, and uh, I'll uh, work over there to finish off with uh, tarot cards. Okay. Oh, well, folks, it's uh, three o'clock in the morning. Well, actually, it's five till, but it'll soon be three. The witching hour. Here we go. First up for a reading is Texas. Texas three. I can answer your question, Texas. Um, Texas normally asks some pretty, uh, pretty specific questions, and I don't know. It's not, they're not always re easy to read, but uh, I can sure give it a shot. I'm here shuffling. Sorry, that's the air conditioner. Shutting on. Turning on, I should say. Oh, this is so hard to get going. Once it does go, though, look out. Okie doke. Okay. Now, here we go. Make a little bit more room here. Ah, the kitten's awake. <laughs> Wondering what the heck I'm doing here. Okay, Texas, I'll read these to you, and uh, maybe you can uh, figure out if it's, uh, what the answer might be, uh, how it applies to you. Here's a woman, uh, not necessarily a woman in your situation, but if anything, it, it, 
it could indicate a woman, an older woman, like a mother figure, maybe a woman with dark hair. If 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 it is a woman at all, if you know, if it's a woman, then it would probably tend to look like that. Anyway, someone's given you money or given you monetary advice. Okay, she seems to know what she's doing and saying, so I'd listen to this person. Um, at the same time, it looks like you're carrying a really big, heavy load. Uh, and it could be like an emotional load. Um, maybe you've been uh, burnt in the past. Um, this uh, indicates a domestic thing, but it could be monetary too. Um, money does come up a lot. Probably more so than anything. So, uh, okay, I'd say this reading is about money. I see a loss in the past, no reason to celebrate. Recently someone's given you news or a gift of money. It's been good. And it's going to continue to be good. You know, you're going to live a, a comfortable life. Happy, content, and all that good stuff. But something here is just not allowing you to be happy. And it's not the money, apparently, but more of an emotional thing. You're, you're regretting something about this whole deal. You have something to regret, but it doesn't seem to be necessarily about money. It's more of an emotional thing. Um, it looks like uh, you will be stabbed in the back. Someone will be betraying you. Um, watch out for this person. Um, if it's the same person, they're also going to try to uh, rip you off. Um, steal money from you. Um, perhaps give you bad news about money. Something that's uh, probably not true in this case. If they're uh, the backstabbing truck twice. The backstabbing type. There, I said it. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to get that out. <clears throat> now, this future isn't uh, looking very positive for you. Um, and I wonder how much of it is to do with your hesitancy over here, your, your regret, your... I don't know. Because uh, something's going to happen, like a, a magical thing's going to happen. But it's not in your favor. It's going to be almost like a, a magic event that you're, you're watching unfold. But unfortunately, it doesn't go in your favor. And you're just not uh, celebrating. And I find it kind of odd and interesting at the same time that you start out not really celebrating something that you should be and you end up not celebrating something that you should be. So I'm not sure how you want to take that and that it, how it applies toward your question. Um, there's uh, very good news about money here recently in the past but coming up in the future there's some bad news some betrayal here 
And I think this betrayal says an awful lot about what this whole thing is saying. All right, Texas, I hope that was able to answer your question, or maybe you can figure out how that applies toward you. All right, the next one is April Love. So I'm shuffling these up for April. And uh, let's see. Is well, I don't have T Coop up there, but she's got to go on that list too. Okay. Six more readings today, tonight. Hopefully I can get through them, because this is like the second or third night I've been working on this video. <laughs> and I really want to get it out. It needs to get out to people, because I'm sure you've probably about given up on me here. It's been a while. Uh, anyway, like I've been saying before, keep your eyes out, keep your eyes peeled, because um, some uh, more videos are coming out soon. Um, I know of at least at least three, maybe more. I think uh, one deserves a follow-up video already and I haven't even released it yet okay for April Excuse me. Okay, these same ones are just coming up again. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I need to just... I will just shuffle these back in at different uh, spots. So I won't keep getting the same deck over and over and over again. No matter how much I shuffle them, it seems like they always want to come up. A bunch of the same ones that I just read. I could sit here and shuffle them for 10 minutes and it would still be a bunch of the same cards. Go figure. So this is for April. Now let's see what we get. Okay. Um, let me see, uh, uh, swords seem to be pretty, uh, dominant here, which means fighting and war. Um, another one is cups, which means, uh, the emotions, but it's mostly the swords, I say, that outnumber 
the cups. Anyway, here we go. I see you've uh, lost um, something, a fight, a squabble, um, nothing real big, yeah, minor bickering, you've, you've lost out on it. And uh, it seems like life's taken on a almost a surrealistic quality to it. Um, it just, since that happened, things just don't seem to be the way they used to be. Everything seems to be just a little bit off here. Um, let's see, you got some upsetting news here in the past. And I, I don't know how extremely upsetting, but it to you it, it came off as something uh, pretty major. Uh, that's not saying that it really was something major, but in your eyes it was something pretty bad. Um, things have been out of control. Um, and you're left kind of uh, stung by this whole ordeal hurt and you, you don't know what way to go what to do next how to go about things you're you're afraid it's made you kind of gun shy so to speak and so you're weighing your odds now on uh, what to do in the future uh, which path to take you know what uh, everything you do you kind of weigh the odds of it okay now there's magic afoot but it's not yours someone else is uh, looks like someone else is doing a little magic around you and uh, it's affecting you um, maybe you have uh, somebody who doesn't like you who is possibly working against you to kind of upset your your household and everything because this person comes up and it's like everything kind of goes downhill from this point um, Now you're left really um, bound by fear. You're afraid of uh, what to do next, how to go about it. Um, you're afraid because you're in such a tight, narrow, confining, con constricting area that if you move too much to one side or another you're gonna get hurt so you have to walk this very delicate path through uh... through life at least for now regardless of how this goes though it looks like there's heartache in your future someone's going to break your heart and I wonder if this person isn't kind of messing with your life and might have brought this on. I don't really see another person in particular that this uh, heartbreak could belong to. So I'm not sure who's going to break your heart, but somebody, someone's going to. And lastly, uh, there's just not happiness in the home coming up. I hate to say this, April, but there's going to be some unhappiness coming up in the whole in the home. Um, so yeah, it looks like somebody is working against you. Um, 
perhaps there's two things at play. One is uh, like uh, the simple laws of nature and stuff and magic don't seem to be working for you. But on top of that, it looks like you have somebody trying purposely to uh, maybe cause you some problems with your life. And it looks like they're going to be pretty successful unless you manage to stop them. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if that's possible. So sorry for the bad news, April. I, I'm very sorry. Uh, I wish you all the best. Hope things go better than what this uh, is pointing towards. Um, for Honey Honey. Oh. Let's see, Honey Honey, Lady Blind Wolf, and Raven Cat. I'll have to remember those. And then, of course, T-Coop after that. This one's for Honey Honey. Okay. Now, honey, it looks like. Okay. Sorry, the camera just cut out on me. And the kittens are up and active, so this might be interesting. Anyway, honey. Bad news from home. About home, family the house, something to do with a domestic issue. And it could involve money. Um, someone's offering it or asking for it and it's kind of a an iffy situation. I'm not quite sure how this is going, but uh, Let's go through it and see what it says. Uh, someone's going to bring you good news. Or they have in the past. But unfortunately it's not a, a job related 
uh, news. Um, something you've been working on just isn't working out or hasn't been working out. It, uh, it's not quite what it needs to be yet. Now I see, uh, there's been some good news coming from the home, a domestic issue, but whatever this is, the home is still not happy. There's something preventing this happiness from, um, coming through. That's repeated in this card. Some sort of issue is preventing the home from being a truly happy, content home. Um, good news coming up of money. Okay. And for a while there, things will improve. You'll be in control of things. And in fact, when it comes down to it, it looks like uh, you're going to be victorious in something that's coming up. Um, so it kind of ends on more of a positive note. But right now it looks like you're having trouble just getting things squared away with the home. And I, I, I can't figure out why, but the money issue keeps bouncing back. And it's like you should be happy, but you're not. And it's kind of a jumble here, honey. Uh, I hope you can make something out of it. All right. I hope this, this helps. No. No, kitty. Be good, kitty. You're, you're interfering with my train of thought here, kitty. Okay, I missed this name, but the African Sun is up next. I just don't know how I didn't see it. The African Sun. African Sun. Now, it looks like your household's uh, fairly content right now, and it, it's probably thanks to uh, this one person, a domestic uh, person. Um, now, this card uh, represents somebody that's uh, probably lighter haired. Um, a mother figure, maybe, uh, but that's not necessary. It, if I was going to describe her, that, that would be a good start point, but that's not necessarily always the case, okay? But there is this person who's kind of responsible for this happiness in the family. Now, uh, hey. Hey, be up on the couch, be good. Now, there's been some problems with uh, uh, foresight, bad uh, foresight 
problems. Um, premonitions and stuff that aren't working out right. Uh, you just uh, haven't been able to trust your 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 ability to uh, to see things for at what they are. I see some squabbling that's been going on in the past, but it looks like uh, you've won out on those. Things are still off, though, and uh, out of out of your control. Something's churning in the background, and it's just not within your control yet. Domestically, on the domestic issue, it looks like you're still coming out ahead. Okay. So it looks like you went through a period where you just kind of, uh, I guess referring to these, you just kind of uh, went back and just thought about it. Thought about your problems, your issues, what was going on. And, you know, see the little culprit interrupting me. Bad city. You sat back, you concentrated, and you've done a lot of daydreaming. But you've not acted on anything yet in your plan to, uh, to fix this problem going on here. Um... Now, coming up here, uh, a money issue is coming up. And I'd be leery of this because whoever is giving this advice or offer, um, they're not quite uh, to be trusted. It's going to be bad advice or something's going to come with a, a sharp price tag attached or something along those lines and finally uh, things are looking good there's there's been a burden you've been carrying around and um, it's really been bothering you in the past I'm not sure it's if it's related to this here but it's been bothering you and you're going to be finally able to to throw it off and leave that problem, that worry, behind. Um, so overall, I'd say this is a pretty good reading. Problems here and there, but uh, it looks like uh, you pretty much have it under control. Not quite what it could be, but uh, overall, you, you pretty much have it under control. Okay, African Sun. Now, let's see, we have uh, Lady Blind Wolf. Let me shuffle these up. Blind Wolf. Okay, Lady Blind Wolf. A lot going on here, a lot of ups and downs. 
At the moment, though, the world is in your hands. This is like the wheel of circle, the wheel of fortune, and it's it's in your hands, it's in your control, and it's everything's turning out just perfect right now or in this general time period recently or in the near future or right now sometime in here it's a perfect um conglomerate conglomeration of everything coming together and life is is pretty good um looks like financially money's not really a big issue so you can be uh free to do a little splurging uh maybe helping others um in the past you've been pretty much in control of everything um everything's been going good pretty much um you've been doing some daydreaming about uh uh things going on in the future where to go what to do next you've been uh dreaming on it and you're finally uh recently you've started acting on it now to head in that direction um although whatever direction that leads to doesn't look like it was making the household better yet but then there is news of a victory of some sort or an actual um, fight with somebody verbal or physical and this fight helped you win and things really seem to have turned out in your favor because of that um, household going to continue to be happy here for a while um, and this is good something that's been bothering you in the past you're finally able to leave it behind and walk away with no uh, strings attached or anything just a free cut you're, and you're off on your own but the last card indicates that there's uh, some news coming your way and it, it looks like it might be upsetting um, which is a shame because it seemed like everything was going just right in the right manners but uh, yeah I guess everything can't be all rosy all the time but uh, some news is coming and it's gonna be upsetting for you um, I'm sorry to tell you that um, okay lady blind wolf next up is raven cat I hope this made sense for you lady blind wolf Raven Cat. Okay, Raven Cat. Right now, I see uh, 
celebration, but it's guarded, cautious celebration. It's not all that it could be because something is going on here that's uh, leaving you a little bit uh, hesitant to fully let yourself go to really enjoy this celebration of, of whatever is going on. Um, I see some bad news about money or um, a gift of money that went bad, maybe. Um, it seems to have helped you out for a little while, made you content um, at the time period, but uh, it didn't solve your problems in the long run, and I see you looking out to other possibilities with uh, some regret and some sadness, some longing. Um, maybe this this money was a temporary fix and not the answer to your problems. And I see things being a little bit beyond your control. What's happening is just happening and you really have no control over what's going on. Okay, coming up, the world's going to be at your feet. It's going to be uh, pretty good, except this money thing. And this, this money problem seems to be echoing down through your readings. Um, you're going to have to be a little bit uh, careful about what you spend your money on. Be uh, kind of conservative with your money. Don't just uh, blow it all and give it all away. Um, and household. Money is going to be tight in the household to boot. Um, but now, I don't know if it's related or not, but there's going to be news of a victory of some sort coming your way. And it's in your favor. So, uh, I see a win on your, your behalf, but I'm not quite sure what that win is going to be about. Hopefully it'll be about the money, related to the money, but, uh, um, yeah, that's, that's what it's given me right now. All right, Raven Cat, I hope that makes some sense to you. Now, let me look at my screen, and, oh, T-Coop, I believe T-Coop is my last one, my screen went down, but, uh, hope hopefully, I think this is it. It's almost 4 a.m. It's funny, they say 3 a.m. is supposed to be the witching hour, but, uh, hmm. I don't usually have any issues at that time. Mine come up at all hours, not just at 3. Okay, tea coop. Okay, T-Coop, it's pretty clear that uh, this reading it involves a uh, fight, a uh, conflict of some, some sort. Now, you, you've, or you soon will, got, get uh, 
news of a loss of some sort. But you take it with patience and dignity, which is perfect, you know, it's a very honorable, noble way of, of going. Um, I see regret in the past, longing for more than what you have, maybe longing to go someplace, to see something else, just uh, you're not quite content where you're at. There's a victory of some sort, or this woman might help you along to win um, this situation, whatever's going on. Um, Now, something happens, and I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, it seems to be uh, kind of crazy, kind of magical, completely unexpected, um, just out of the blue. Something uh, has happened recently, and it's turned everything around, and it's like, you're approaching or you are like having your day in the sun or you're approaching that point very rapidly you know everything's going to be sunny and roses and real upbeat well it looks like you might want to try to hold on to that when it hits hold on to it as tightly as you can for as long as you can because things start to change over here a bit. Although not extremely bad, it, it does start to change. Okay. It starts out with regrets of something you left behind in the past. And it bothers you a bit. And even it, it, it possibly even might even give you uh, nightmares, you know, it'll keep you awake at night, bothering you. But you're going to be able to overlook it, overcome it, and continue on with your life. There's a victory here, which might be the victory over this issue of what was left behind, what you're regretting. Um, <clears throat> now, we get one money card in the whole deck, and it's the last one, and it's saying, it's saying basically that you're going to be uh, given bad news on money, bad advice, uh, someone's going to be taking money from you, asking for money. It's just going to be a bad deal, so avoid, if you can, this situation. Try to stay out of it. It's just going to give you trouble in the long run. All right. Well, there you go, T. Coop. I hope, hope, hope some of the readings I've been giving you have made some sense to you. Um, now my phone's starting to die, my camera, so... I'm going to have to wrap it up here. Uh, thank you all for, for watching. Uh, peace and believe. Y'all have a great day.